Nacho from Shoko Mango TV and today's topic is Ma'alamo Kaya. Today's episode is simply called Banyo and it is a special episode because it is a little bit You will soon learn why. Um, and did you know I'm watching this episode without any subtitles because there are no subtitles on this DVD. Basically, I don't understand much Tagalog, but does this keep me from watching this? No, because I really love Maalamo Kaya stories. So, let's go into MMK Banyo. This episode is very special because it is a little bit scary, a little bit takot. So, um, the actors that play here are Kay Abad, she's the main actress. And also we have here Marvin Augustine. So, let's go. Kay Abad um, plays a young woman called Nanette, who is um, visiting, an, or no, is moving into a new a dorm house. And there in this dorm house she meets a nice guy called Dave, played by Marvin Augustine. And some strange things are going on there, obviously. It looks like there's some secrets around that place. Late at night, sometimes when she's waking up and sees a strange woman inside her bed. It is the ghost of a woman called Anna, played by Dimples Romana. You know Dimples Romana from Cadena Ginto? Oh yeah, then you will love her here. Because Dimples was only something like 19 years old. And this kind of ghost that Dimples plays is so scary. Maximum scary. But it is also very fascinating because why is this ghost always appearing in front of Nanette, the new visitor in the dorm house. As we learn um, further in the story, some unknown thing has happened there. But that is only the side story. Meanwhile, we have Nanette is really have, forming a nice relationship with this nice guy called Dave, played by Marvin. And they really go closer together. And it looks like everything is fine, but there are some doubts there. Something strange is going on there. Nanette really feels something is wrong here, especially because the ghost of Anna is still following her each time. So then comes the moment of truth in the story. It looks like she has a vision of the death of Anna. She is killed in the banyo of the dorm house, which is very scary. And the vision that uh, Nanette is having grows even more wild because then she sees the face of the person that killed her and oh my gosh it is is shocking it is Dave the nice guy he is the killer oh my gosh in that moment when she got that um, revelation that Dave is the killer the nice guy that she liked so far suddenly it happens that oh my gosh Dave is standing in front of her and he knows that she had that vision and he really wants to take it out on her and she, he wants her to become his next victim. Oh my gosh! What will she do now? Luckily, she can run away to the babai that is running the dorm house there and tells her all about it. Careful. She knows all about this. This Babai has some, has some this uh, older lady. She knows all about the happenings there. And she's even covering that happenings there. Oh my gosh. Because 
what is even more shocking, oh my goodness, Gulat, Gulat. It comes out that the dorm lady has a relationship with Dave and tries to cover all these happenings, all these killings. And what happens now, Dave is chasing Nanette now. And in some kind of accidental, he falls off the top of a house and is dying. So this is where the story ends. But no, I forgot, I totally forgot to tell you why is he dying? No, totally forgot that. He is dying because the ghost of Anna, played by Dimples Romana, he's, she, she's chasing Dave. He gets really scared a lot from the ghost of Anna and that's why he is losing hold on the roof of the top of the house and he's falling down the house to the ground where he is falling to his death and is dying of injuries. And the next scene is basically after that um, that Nanette is really talking once more to the dorm lady about the incident. But basically the, the, the dorm lady, she does not care about this. She is also totally shocked that the boy that she loved has died. And in the last scene we are seeing that the spirit of Anna finally came to rest. And in a way is thanking Nanette that now the case has come to a good ending, that her spirit can finally rest in peace. So that's basically the whole story. My goodness, what a long story I told here uh, to you. I hope you liked it. I hope it will inspire you to go to TFC or to I Want and try to look for this episode and watch it because my talking about this episode cannot do this episode the real justice. You should really watch this. A really nice scary episode. You will love this, I guarantee you this. So if you like this kind of MMK talk that I was giving to you, please subscribe to my channel. Please try to hit the notification bell and try to follow my hologram if I have one soon. So see you on the next vlog. Bye bye. See you then.